Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farmer's Dynasty. Today, ooh, a deer! A deer! I really want to be able to hunt these deer, look at them. It's, okay, it's a magic deer, he just ran through the fence, so... Um, never interfere with a magic deer. They're, 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 it, it just bad things will happen. It's just going to be bad things will happen all around. Now, um, I'm looking for a dealership. I think the dealership is there, so we want to go there. And the idea is we are looking for a tractor. We're, we're looking to buy a tractor, but we're also looking for the agricultural market. Um, the tractor is going to be... What, why am I going here? I already know that the tractor is 45,000 and 90,000 social points. It's not that that I'm after. Nope, it's not that that I'm after. What I'm after is the agricultural store. It's that bus stop right there that I need to go to. So let's go to that bus stop. Uh, yep, that one there. Yeah, today we want some cows. Not, I was. Why did I want to go to the tractor? I can remember how much a tractor is. No, we want to buy some cows today. We want to buy as many cows as we can. And we can start making money from the cows. So, yeah, we go in here. And then there's a really secret thing that they've introduced into this game um, that I wasn't able to hack. It's like a secret code. And unless you're told about it, it's like almost impossible to, to find out about it. If you look on the screen right in front of you at the top left hand corner where it says enter agricultural store that is the clue now i, I realize that i've already been over this but i did i did do this and I, I do feel particularly stupid about this particular one because i'd already had things like this happen in the game but anyway if we press enter we are back in the agricultural store it's like some kind of a miracle it really is uh, zucchini seedlings, price two euro. Stored in greenhouse storage. Uh, tomato five, pumpkin three. It doesn't say how long they take to grow. I want to buy some zucchinis, so we're going to buy some zucchinis. Uh, we can get a thousand of them for two thousand euros. I think that feel that does feel a bit excessive. Let's go for twenty. Um, can I can I get it to go to twenty? I don't think I can. I think it's just going to do that. Um, okay, let's get nineteen of them like that. And is, is that, have I got to go back in each time, have I? I think so. Okay, we go to here. Um, what about if I just press uh, one? Nope. Okay, I do have to do it like that. 15 pieces is the least that I can buy. I'm going to buy the 15 as well, so we'll get that. So we're now down to 7,800 euros. Um, did I, I? I'm sure I good to automatically move to your farm storage. Right, more. And I'm not going to go pumpkins at the moment. Now, chickens, we cannot buy any chickens. We are maxed out on chickens. We also have here hen food, 97 kilos. It doesn't cost a lot for hen food. Hay, which is cow food, is also fairly cheap. So we, we can buy should we can buy six, uh, 8,000. No, I, I don't want to buy any of that. But I do want to buy some cows. They're 500 euros a piece, though, which isn't cheap. That's 4,500 euros for nine pieces of cow. Um, let me move that back down there, like that. So we get nine pieces of cow, and we'll buy those for 4,500 euros. I don't know if this is really going to be a profitable thing immediately, or if it's going to take a very long time, but it would be good to have cows in there. And we're back to seeds. Okay, so we come out of there. We have done our splurging for the day. We come out of the shop. Right, we can either use the bus, or we can just do it like this. It's a lot quicker if we just do this. We go like that, and there we've got uh, old cedar there. New quest available, plough the field. New quest available, transport. Transport. Yeah, so see, we got lots of stuff there. So let's go over here to the Jack Bear. I want to come uh, climb off of you. And we're going to take a look at our cows. There we go. Cows, look at them all. They're all lined up. They're, um, they're, they're collapsing. <laughs> I love the, the animation for them lying down. It's brilliant. Clonk. <laughs> oh, that is fantastic. Right, so what do we got to do to cows? Do we have to do anything to them? Or do they just eat automatically? I think they eat automatically by the look of it. So I'm looking around. I see nothing that needs doing in here at the moment. Um, I've got... A, a, there's a thing out there. I don't know what that is. What is that? Slurry tank. Manure stored is 1,000 kilos. Okay, we won't worry about that. Let's shut that door there. Um... You know what? It's a sunny day. Let's open this door so that they've got a little bit of a breeze coming in. They'll be quite happy with that. What else do we need to do? do is there anything you need to do to cows? I don't think there's anything we need to do to them at the moment. Um, there's nothing there. 
There is in here, if we look, there's this machinery in here. Which doesn't have anything. And we've got cows owned 9 and hay stored 1,000 kilos. Okay, let's just leave that to it. We'll shut that door on that side. We're going to jump back on the jack there. We're going to get our baler and we're going to go racing up to the top. And we need to start our baling today. We've got all of that straw down on the ground now. We've done all the harvesting. So we should be able to make an absolute fortune from doing all this baling. This is, this is the plan. This is what we're hoping. We can make a fortune from doing this. And then we should be able to, you know, think about buying a new tractor. So we want to just uh, back up. Oh, no, I can hitch now. There we go. Right. Let's get up to the field and get started with our baling. All right, apparently we are seriously hungry. I was just wondering if maybe we could find another chest lying around. But there is no symbols on the chest anymore. You cannot find them just by seeing the symbols sort of um, further back. You've got, to, you, you've got to be a bit more clever with it now. Right, let's just turn this one on. Turn on the harvester. I think that's it. I think we can just go. Yes, we do. Now, I don't remember how much of the straw it, it does. You, you, uh, everything that the tractor drives over, it picks up. and Oh, it actually picks up a little bit out the side as well. So we can sort of, we can take a reasonable width with this one. And it goes a lot faster than the combine as well. So we're going to get this baling done in absolutely no time at all. And you've also got the, this kind of animation where it launches the bale out the back, which I do find quite comical. And let's just come on around here. There we go. It is, yes, whilst it is quite funny, it's um, it, it's not going to really make any difference. We can go on back there. And we've also, I mean, the, I do like the fact that the baling, I, well, I do and I don't. The, the bales didn't seem to interact with the tractor at all. Once, once they're lying there, you can go and pick them up. But a, when you drove over them with the tractor, it didn't seem to have any impact on them whatsoever. So I'm not sure if this is a good thing or a bad thing. I, I genuinely don't know, to be honest. Whether, you know, I, I like this or not. It's, it's, it's one of those things that you kind of look at and you think, hmm. I can see the positives and the negatives for that, but I am genuinely sat on the fence. I, I really have no clue whether I think this is a good thing or not. Right, let's just ease up there a little bit. We are, we're going at absolute breakneck speed on this. Uh, if I press T again, we off we go again. Look at this. I am bailing at 23 kilometers an hour. That is a, an insane speed. Do we keep this baler? When we get later on in the game, do we keep this baler or do we move to bigger bales? If we do move to bigger bales, how do we pick them up? Do we have to use a tractor and loader or do we use, you know, do it by hand? Or is there another way of doing it? We're going to have to have a look around and see what the situation is with that because I'm, I'm a little curious now. I, I mean, I kind of like the idea of doing it by hand. I don't particularly like, because of the, what, the clunky controls for this, I don't particularly like the idea of using any kind of loader for picking up bales that, that that feels like something that would be difficult to manage and difficult to master so i i feel that i could probably do without that now the idea today i feel is we want to get all the baling done as quickly as we can and we'd also like to sell the bales and then we can sort of take a look and see if we want to spend more money on another field which I'm kind of leaning towards not doing that now. I was thinking about buying a field of lupine and um, harvesting that just because it's got a good rate going for it. But at the same time, I don't think we'd get back what we spend out on a field. So, yeah, it doesn't. I don't think that would be a necessarily good idea. We could buy another field of wheat and we could go through this whole process again, which quite frankly, I think would be rather dull and boring. Um, and not to mention the fact that we still haven't got our new tractor. And if we have to use this tractor to deal with the field, we're going to have to plow the field. I really don't want to have to do the plowing with this tractor. We've done some plowing. We've experienced that. And quite frankly, it was not as entertaining as you'd think it would be. So I don't really want to have to plow huge, great big fields using this and that pokey little plow that we've got sat back on our farm. So that is kind of... One of my top priorities is avoiding doing any plowing, if at all possible. I want to find a way to avoid doing any plowing. Um, now I'm going to go and I'm going to keep going with the baling for a bit. I will see if I can get most of this finished, and then we can take another look. And we can start selling these bales so we can get this job finished this week. As that will be out the way then. We don't have to come back and worry about it next week. Well, I'm not doing anything particularly fancy with baling here. I'm just literally driving round and round and round 
gathering it all up because the combine that we've got doesn't tend to leave particularly tidy windrows and so we, we can just do it like this now I do I'm quite liking the fact that we got such a wide pickup on this and I'm also liking the fact that we go so insanely fast I mean, we are absolutely belting around this field at a phenomenal pace and we've also got the you know, the full tractor width plus the baler width as well it is all being scooped up and turned into straw. Uh, well, turned into straw? Turned into bales, I should say. And it's... wonder how these leaves taste like. Um, yeah, apparently we're a little bit hungry. We're, we're getting a tad peckish, so... We ought to do something about that fairly soon. We're going to keep going. We're gonna, we'll do that. We'll deal with that when we finish the baling. And, I mean, this this is absolutely fantastic. Just the speed that you can get round all of this. And I'm going to have this field done in absolutely no time at all. I'm kind of wishing that um, we could do this in other games as well. But, uh, yeah, so, so we'll see. So I, I, I don't mind this at all. It's the ploughing that I didn't like. The ploughing was very, very slow and very, very tedious. And it was difficult to see what you'd done and what you hadn't done. So I'm really hoping that they're going to add a way that you can, like, get a hired help. Ha you know, just any kind of hired help to do the ploughing for you. So we can avoid that particular task. And maybe things like the... I mean, the harrowing was faster. Um, so mainly the ploughing and, um, you know, possibly doing the, the, the sea drill as well. But then, you know, the, the rest of it does seem to be pretty quick. I mean, obviously the combine we've got is really old and really slow. So it's going to be pretty cool when we can upgrade the combine and we can get the brand new one, which is the class Lexian. Regardless of what they call it in the game, we know that it is a class Lexian. We recognize greatness when we see it. So we will be using the class Lexian to do our bailing as and when we can. Let's come racing around here. But obviously, the tractor is our main priority. We want a fast and speedy tractor. Even if it just goes on the little trailer that we've got. It's still... When we, yeah, well, we're still really hungry. Nothing's changed. We haven't stopped to eat. All right, let's come around there. And if you look, the bales, that they don't... You don't sort of interact at all with the bales. Once they're on the ground, that's it. They stay there. And you don't need to worry about them. So, again, that's... I, I'm, I'm leaning more towards I quite like this idea. I quite like the fact that you don't um, bother the bales. Once they're there, they don't get caught up on your tractor. They, they don't get in the way. They don't interfere with you. They don't cause you any problems. And the more I think about this, the more I like this idea. Look, look, see, I'm just, I'm just going straight through the bales. I don't have to worry about them. I don't have to sort of consider them getting tangled up in the tractor and in the machinery. It just makes the job a whole lot easier. I realize, of course, that this is not overly realistic. And there are a lot of people that like full realism. However, I'm having spent many years working on various farms and also spent many years working in construction and other such things. I'm quite happy to take a break from realism because, quite frankly, the, the, the whole thing with the, the real life, the, the reason that a lot of people don't like to stay working on these kinds of jobs is because they're so tedious and it's a lot of hard work. So if we can avoid some of those situations... And if we can just make life a little bit easier, like, you know, belt through the paving at this kind of speed, it does it, it does make it better. This is, I, I do like this. I, I like the fact that I am able to take a step away from reality and come more into a fantastical situation. And I'm, I'm liking this. The, the more that I... You, you probably notice that I do tend to sort of drift away from realistic gameplay more and more. Um, I, I have been doing it of late. I, I still try to play realistically on... Um, my farming simulator series that I'm still doing. But, yeah, I, I have sort of drifted away from realistic gameplay purely because, you know, I, I've done realism. I've, I've, I've you know, I've, I stepped outside my front door and I, I used to do realism on a, on a regular basis every single day. And it's nice to be able to take the shortcuts that you wish you could take in real life. That's I think that's kind of the key to this, is that here you get to do the things that you'd like to be able to do in real life, but you're not able to. I, you know, if I could find a way to plow a lot faster in a game, that'd be brilliant. If I could find a way to plow a lot faster in, you know, in real life, fantastic. If I could find a way to run a baler at this kind of speed in real life, that would be incredible. Because, you know, it is great fun. Using a small baler is one of the jobs that I really do love doing. It's, I haven't done it very much, admittedly. Um, but it is great fun. But it's also lots and lots of hard work. And once you've done it for a day or, you know, a couple of days, the job starts to wear a bit thin. So if you've got to spend three or four weeks doing it, eventually you'll get to the point where, you know what? 
That whole idea of speeding this up so that it's um, insanely fast and we can do our bailing at 20 kilometers an hour instead of 2 kilometers an hour, I'm leaning quite heavily towards that actually not being a bad idea. And, you know, most, most people, I'm not saying all people, I'm not saying all people, I'm saying most people would probably think that's not such a bad idea. Once, you, once you've done a couple weeks of the whole bailing malarkey, having it speed speed it up considerably does it, it it would it would it would be wonderful it'd be out same with stacking bales if i could have had somebody come along and stack the bales up for me really really fast when i used to do it oh that would have been so so wonderful it really would i i think i would have actually wept big manly tears of joy onto my boots at the thought of somebody being able to stack those bales up 300 times faster than what I was doing as I was slowly, slowly going around field after field for week after week after week, stacking them up with my loadal. I would have just broken down and wept with the joy of seeing an auto load trailer walk into the field or wander into the field, drive into the field, whatever you want to do with it and just stack all the bales up just like magic would have been so amazing right we're gonna go and get our bale trailer we'll load up the few bales that we got down in our yard and we'll bring those up and then we'll start throwing bales that we've just harvested or just bailed up rather and um get them onto the trailer as well and we're gonna start selling bales you're really really hungry when did you eat last time um we also might want to think about having a bite to eat as well I've uh, got the bale trailer on, we'll just spin round and then we can put it close to the entrance to the shed and we can load up those bales on it. Before we do that though, we ought to have bite to eat. So let's just go into the kitchen and sit down and have bite to eat. You are really very hungry, you might even eat a frog alive. Um, I wouldn't recommend eating a frog alive, you can't sit on the chairs! Talk about disappointed. Talk about disappointed. I think we could upgrade that sink, I really do. I think, well, yeah, it's, it's the grottiness of the sink that bothers me. Anyway, let's have a bite to eat. So what are we going to have? We can have fish in aroma oil. Oh, food is zero. Yeah, you really ought to do something about that. All right, let's eat that fish before it goes bad. And then we've got some fish in uh, tomato sauce. We've got condensed... Let's have some condensed milk. We haven't had condensed milk. And we need another 40. So we got... Uh, there we go. We can have some spicy pumpkin soup. Food is now at 100. Fantastic. Let's carry on. Fully refreshed. Ready to take on the rest of the day. How much is left? It's half past two. We're going to have to get a move on, really. So let's just go racing over here. Now, if I bring the tractor round this way, like this. I'll come in through there. There, and stop right there. Jump out. And then we can go and grab the bales from in here. Lift bale. Oh, there we go. Right, so we want to come out here and we want to put the bale on the trailer. So we want to get these nine bales here and then we can um, run up to the fields up top and start getting all of those bales as well. All right, grab that last one and chuck it up on there. Right, so we've got nine bales on there at the moment. And on we go. So we're going to go racing off up to the field at the top. We're going to load up the rest of the bales and then we're going to start selling all of the bales that we've got. We've got loads of bales now. And hopefully make our fortune. I can't remember how much we get for bales, but I'm hoping that we do get a reasonable fortune for this. Maybe even close to enough to buy the tractor. Now, 45,000 and 90,000 social points will buy us the tractor or 90,000 euros. So if we can get close to 45,000 euros, even like 35,000 euros, and then we move from there, we go and we get a, um, where we start, we'll, we'll do a few quests, we could do a few quests next week, and maybe sell a couple loads of canola that we've got in the barn here, just up to the nearby store, and that should then take us over enough so that we get, I mean, it's, the, it's the quest that we need to do, we, 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 we will need to do some quests for people. Um, there's some delivery quests and stuff like that that are kicking around on the map. So I don't know how many of those we're going to have to do in order to earn decent quantities of social points. Fixing up our own barns, that got us a lot. We definitely got quite a lot there. So maybe it's going to be something like that that is going to sort of be the way forward. I'm not quite sure at the moment. Abigail seems neutral to us. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll kind of have to wait and see as far as the whole... Um, social points and the quests and stuff which quests we're going to need to do and things like that but we know that there are now new 
delivery quests available that we can try. So let's just pull this one up here. That's about far enough, I think. Oops, stop, stop, stop. There we go. Right. Now we can start running and grabbing these bales, and we just uh, we bring them over and put the bale on the trailer. It's probably easier to dump the tractor and then just run like this and do as many as we can really quickly. There we go. Because you can run fairly quickly. You just can't jump when you're holding a bale. No jumpy when holding bale. Uh, we're going to grab that one. I think there's more closer to me on the other side of the trailer, so we'll go and get those to finish off. We'll get that one right there. Throw you on. Having done this job in real life, I know for a fact that this is hard work. Right? This this is genuinely hard work doing this job. And it's, it's not one that I'm ever in a, a tearing hurry to go and do again. Just, you know, even for old times' sake and nostalgia and so on, you, you can keep your nostalgia and... Um, I. And yeah, I'll I'll um, avoid doing doing the bales if at all possible. It's it is genuinely genuinely backbreaking work. Uh, bale on trailer, I think. Yep, that is the whole lot. You just have the one on the top for the final one. So we go racing off up here, and I can't remember how much we get for this. We'll find out in just a minute. Fortunately, the bale sell point is even on this side. We're about as close as we could possibly get to the bale sell point, um, and you know, so we got the least distance to have to drive of any of them so let me go there enter bail market 20 bales 3000 euros not bad i forgot that it was three grand so three grand for just 20 bales so we'll go back and we get another so how many loads of bales are we going to have here we got you know 20 bales um we've probably got another three loads at least so there's another 9000 euros which will give us all together what do we got we got six thousand so another nine. That's going to give us 15,000. So only 30,000 euros to go. We're going to have to sell all of our canola, definitely. And then, see, the wheat, I didn't want to sell the wheat yet. That, that was the one thing that I didn't want to do was sell the wheat just yet because of the um, the distance that we got to go. And that's why I wanted the bigger tractor, because I figured that it would be better. Is there a loan? Can, can we, like, take out... I don't think you can take out loans in this game. I think loans are not a thing, which is... A great shame, as far as I'm concerned. A loan would be absolutely wonderful at this point. We could take out a loan. We could go and we could recklessly spend money that's not ours. And we could have all sorts of fun with it. Um, hmm. Maybe that's why they don't have loans. They don't want to encourage reckless spending and when it's not needed. Let's go and grab that bale there. I'll leave the others over there that are further away. And we'll move the tractor again. It doesn't seem too bad, actually, jumping on and off moving the tractor. Uh, there we go. Grab that one. Right, now, where's the next bales? There's no... Oh, there's one. I knew there was another bale nearby. Grab that one. Chuck that one on. And then move on a little bit further. And we'll park this one now just here, I think. I will run over and I will get that bale that's over there. Stop. Jump off. Right, there is a bale over here somewhere. Uh, there's one there that I want. And then there's another one over there. And then we can just go and get the ones that are much closer to the trailer. So are we going to actually get another three loads out of this field? I don't know if we are. And also, for those of you who've played this game quite a bit, does fertilize... If we were to fertilize and put manure on the field, like uh, we, we're going to be doing for our next round. I mean, obviously, these fields that we're buying, um, or the field that we bought, didn't have fertilizer on it. So if we go and do fertilizing... And we put all that on. Is that going to give us a better yield for straw? Um, I think it gives a better yield for uh, not, not for the, the grain. But does it also give a better yield for straw? That's something that I would really like to know about that one is. So if you could answer that one in the comment section down below. Ooh, grab, 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 grab. There we go. Uh, put bale on trailer. There we go. you got to love the look, look at the way that that moves around. That is just ridiculous. Okay, we can swing on round up here. We can go and get the next ones. What else have we got? You know, I reckon we... I said three loads. We've easily got two there. We, may, we probably have more than that. We could be pushing 20 grand by the time we finish this, which means that we need another 25,000 euros, and we need... Well, we, we want 45,000 social... Uh, no, 90,000. We're going to need another 50,000 social points. The social points is going to be the difficult bit. So next week, we're going to be looking around for all the different jobs that we can do in order to earn social points and other things. Now, we've, we're earning some machinery. That's, that's like the easy bit. Earning the machinery is the easy bit. 
Um, but you don't get much in the way of social points for that. So once we've done that bit, then what? Then what do we do after that? So we can sell that 20 there for another 3,000 euros. That puts us up to 9,300 euros, which isn't bad. But it's still a ways to go yet. Still a ways to go. We're about 20% of our total price that we're going to be trying to get. We go racing back down here to get the next lot of bales. Kind of curious if we can get all of this done before dark. Dark is starting to creep up on us. I, I'll stop around about there, I think. Right. We get these three up here. They're close enough. And put you on there. And I grab you. It is good that you can at least run holding the bale, because otherwise that would really slow things down. Go and get that one over there. And chuck you on. And then we got these around the back. And then there's a few around the front as well that we'll get before we shift the trailer over for the next bit. Is that one there. And there's a few right in front of the tractor. Several right in front of the tractor, actually. More than I thought. Get that one there. Put you on. And you. There we go. This is really quick. Really easy. I can do this. And there we go. Right, so we want to just move on a little bit further. And where do we want to go? Down here. We'll go just over here. Actually, I'm going to go down here a little bit further. And we'll get these that are a bit further away from the store. So we'll stop right there. And I'll jump off. Let me out. Let me out. So we've got three down there. And then you. You're right next to it. I wanna, I'm deliberately going for these three first, and then we'll get the ones that are closer, although I don't think I actually need to worry about that. I think I will have enough right here with these ones right next to the trailer. Look at these. Look at these. There. Oh, no, no, no. Stop dumping it on the floor. Put bail on trailer. And then you. Drop. Nope. <laughs> it seems to be a bit sensitive for finding the position for put bail on trailer. Grab that one. Right, there's one more bale that we want. Is it up there? Nope. It's that one down there. There's one on its own right there. That is the bale. The one. There we go. Uh, put bale on trailer. There we go. So we can take this lot up. And if we can get the trailer to follow us rather than drifting off across the field. There's another 3,000 euros. So that is going to put us up to 12,300 euros. And then another load after that is going to be 15,000. And then probably another load after that. So that'll take us to 18,000. 18 grand. So, we, yeah, we're not sure, we're not very far off of the, um, the 20,000, I was saying. Um, if we use this tractor to bring the canola, I know that we do have a bit further to go with hauling the canola. I think we've got two, maybe three loads worth back at the yard. We may have more than that, actually, thinking about it. I'm, I'm not sure. I, I genuinely, at the moment, I genuinely don't remember what we've got in the way of canola. So we'll, we'll have to go back and take a look at that. Let's go there. Sell. Excellent. On we go again. 12,000. Uh, we've got two bales just here that we want to just um, grab very quickly. And then we can move again and go and get a few more. So we grab that one and that one. Dump you on there. And then we want to go up here and get the next lot. So if I park it next to those three over there, then we can run out in a little circle and grab the rest. I don't think we're going to get two full loads out of this field now. I think we are very close to being finished. We grab that one there. Which way am I going? I want to go over this way. And then we can come back and grab you. Like that. Nice and quick and easy. It does look like stuff is moving around when it's not because of the way the grain, the, the stubble is moving. It's kind of drifting in the um, in the wind, which, you know, that bit isn't particularly realistic. I've never seen stubble swaying in the wind. Full corn, yes, maybe. I, I could buy into that, but not, not stubble, no. That, that doesn't drift with the wind. That just sits there stubbornly. And if you don't ever try to walk through a, um, a, a field with stubble with bare feet, even a field that has been mown for hay, because the, the grass stubble uh, does tend to be quite stiff and spiky as well. So I wouldn't recommend doing that in bare feet. It's a personal experience there. It's, 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 um, it's probably not the wisest move <laughs> to try and do it in bare feet. Not many farmers are very happy with running around in any of their fields or doing anything like that in bare feet anyway, just because, uh, you know, health and safety. But, you know, if you ever do have the opportunity, tread carefully, because it could end up hurting your tender toes. Trust me on this. I am the voice of wisdom and experience. Let's just grab that one. 
I'm racing back through. Put you on there. And then that one. There we go. So we've got three on this side. I think there's one just over on the other side of the um, trailer. It's literally touching the trailer almost. And there. And round we go. Yeah, right there. Probably would have been quicker to get those. Stop doing it like that. Put bail in trailer. There we go. So we've got a few up here. Just brag, drag those down here a minute. Just while I'm here. Just a little bit quicker if I just do it while I'm around. Um, and then just to have you. So we've got a little stack over there. All right, we'll, we'll worry about the rest in a minute. We don't want to double handle too much. And another load. In we go. 20, Euro, 20 bales, 3,000 euros. That takes us up to our 15 grand, which isn't bad. Isn't bad. I mean, we yes, we still have got a ways to go. I'm hoping that we will be able to get um, a decent amount for the canola. Uh, but we, we obviously, we're going to have to have a look back and see how much we get for that. And it is going to take a little bit of time to sort of drag backwards and forwards. But I'm confident that we can do it and, you know, do it fairly quickly. So that, that bit will be all right. And then the combine up there. Now, I kept it up here because I was thinking about buying that field of lupine over there. Genuinely don't know if that's the best idea now. Because of the, the cost of it, I'm sort of thinking maybe we don't. How much does maize sell for? Because there's a maize field right there and there's another maize field over there. There's not going to be straw from those, I'm sure of it. Let's just see. Uh, maize, 450 per ton. It's not great, is it? The lupine is 750 euros per ton. And I suspect that we get the same kind of money from uh, the same kind of yield as we do for the wheat and the canola. Because canola had the same yield as the wheat field, which did surprise me a bit. So, you know, we did get loads and loads of canola when technically we shouldn't have had very much. So there is that side to it. Uh, it's starting to get late now. So we, we are going to finish all of the bales tonight, though. It's definitely got the... We've got time to do it. Because there's only there's going to be one full load. And then I think we've got a part load as well. Just, just, just to finish off, we'll sell every bale that we've got. Take them all up there. Sell the whole lot. And then we can uh, deal with the rest another time. Just bring that over there. So we, well, we won't have any rest to deal with. The canola is something that we'll deal with. And we can also decide whether or not we buy this field of lupine. The field... I can't remember how much it could... We'll take a look. We'll go and take a look at the price of it first. And see whether we think it's worth it. I don't think it would be worth spending social points. I think they're going to be more difficult to earn than the actual money in the game. So if, we're need, if we need to get some extras, I think the extra ought to be the... Um, we'll spend a bit more money rather than the using up our social points. Just so that we save ourselves, save ourselves a little bit of money. We'll take a look at the field after we've done this. We need to get this straw in. Get it all under cover. There we go. One more bale over there. Excellent. And we got one more bale to finish the load. There we go. We can put that one on there and then that bale right there. That's the one that we want. Put you on there. Excellent. And away we go. So we are, we're running out. Let's, let's put the lights on. There we go. And incidentally, if you're ever driving around in real life in an area that has a lot of arable land, um, if you drive... At night time, especially with a car or something like that, it's a little bit quieter. Um, you drive through a stubble field or you, you, your lights sweep out across a stubble field. You will see a lot of eyes looking back at you in the darkness. Some of those fields can have literally hundreds of rats running around in them just after they've been harvested. And literally hundreds of rats. And it's, it's quite creepy to behold. And you, you're not sort of in a great big hurry to get out of the car you definitely not you just, you just want to keep going very often you'll only see like a few pairs of eyes but there are times when i've seen hundreds of them blinking back at me in the darkness and quite frankly it's a very very creepy experience it's not something that i would recommend that you go and do too often um i mean i suppose it can be fun sometimes but uh, yeah it's there's something about Going through a field late at night when you're on your own and having hundreds of rats staring back at you from the darkness. And then you'll start, you start to be reminded of old stories of how rats, you know, plagues of rats have gone through somebody's barn and eaten all of the animals that were there as they went pouring through the barn. Literally, they, they I, I kid you not, there's stories of rats going through 
a, a barn with three or four cows in there and after the rats had gone and the people came back to take a look there was nothing left but a few hooves and a few bones everything else was gone the rats had destroyed the lot well not destroyed eaten they'd eaten the cows it lit you just swarmed over them and ate them and you get enough rats and they could actually do that pretty quickly because rats are they, they are monstrous creatures they really are there is a reason that i know that some people like to keep rats as pets and i can appreciate that you do like to do that but there is a reason that farmers don't like rats okay they are ravenous monsters and they are not pleasant either they they can be absolutely vicious vicious nasty creatures I've been cornered with a rat before now. He was in busy eat, helping himself to our grain. Um, and I was just going in to sweep out a big grain tank. And his rat was in there. He realized he was stuck with me. So did he try to run away? No, he ran straight at me. Straight at me. I kid you not. This was one of the biggest rats I'd ever laid eyes on in my life. And he runs straight towards me. He, I, I swung at him with the broom that I had and I missed. He jumped from quite a way away he landed he caught his claws dug into my trouser leg and he ran up my trousers and he ran up my shirt and he was going straight towards my face and his mouth was open and i kid you not i think he was it, it looked like he was you know going for my face i managed to knock him off me at that point and then i beat him to death with the brush nobody no, 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 I'm not having some creature claw his way up and go, you know, he, he, I'm, I'm certainly was trying to bite you going for my face. I'm not going to stand there and let a creature try to chew my face off and then do nothing about it. So me and this rat entered into epic battle and he paid for his mistake with his life. I beat him to death and I'm not apologetic about it. I'm not sorry. And if that situation ever happened again, yes, I would definitely do it again. So if, if you if you do keep pet rats, um, you yep, that's fine. Keep your pet rats. I don't mind if you keep pet rats, so long as they don't try to chew my face off. That thing terrified me. It really did. And also, I would also like to add that where his claws dug into my leg as he climbed up my leg, I got they, um, each of it was little tiny scratches that he left there. They got really, I didn't sort of pay much attention to them because I, you know, I was working on a farm at the time. I used to do a lot of um, fencing using handling barbed wire. And so I was used to being scratched. When you handle barbed wire a lot, you tend to get lots of little scratches on you. Only little tiny scratches, and um, but you get used to having scratches. And so you don't pay it any mind. I'd, I'd be scratched all over my arms, you know, some days, and you'd be scratches everywhere. Um, you just completely ignore it. And so I just ignored it. The following day, each and every single little spot where it had broken the skin, where the rat's claws had broken the skin, um, was infected. And it was infected quite badly. It was like really quite painful to touch in places. I, I got quite concerned. So um, I was talking it over with one of the other workers on the farm. And, and we got some, they had some uh, first aid kit there. They, they had some antibacterial stuff. So we, we sort of basically just pasted all of anything that was like that. Anything that looked even slightly bad. Right, that's 9,700 euros to buy this field. It's 1.2 hectares or 9... I don't want to use up social points. So we can use 9... So we'd still be in profit. We'd have about 9,000 euros left if we were to buy this field and then we could combine. I don't really want to do more combining now, though. Um, we'll consider that for next week, but at the moment I'm sort of thinking that we'll leave that and we'll um, we will do some other stuff. But I'm kind of running out of time now, so... Um, we're gonna I'm gonna head back to the yard and that's gonna be about it so in our next episode we will take a look at the milk from the cows first thing at the beginning well at the beginning of next week we'll see what milk we get and see what milk sells for over at the uh, the, the guy that buys milk and eggs and stuff and then um, what are we gonna do then jobs we're gonna go around and we're gonna start doing some more jobs for people we want to earn the last few bits of machinery that are on offer but we'd also like to do some of the other jobs that are available as well there are other things to do such as these delivery quests and things like that. So we could earn a nice little bit of cash doing that. And more importantly, the social points that we're going to need in order to be able to do our, um, to buy our tractor. But then we've got the canola to sell as well. We've got so much that we need to do. So if you enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. But until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Rithgar. Goodbye and see you later.